Welcome to the live stream. And this is a convoy live stream. I've got some folks from the Discord server here. Um, we are in Salem, Oregon, and we are grabbing a load. I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute. Um, looks like Bedrock's already got it. I guess I guess that's it. That's the load. We're getting a, a tractor uh, on a step deck trailer, and we're taking that from Eugene or well, Salem, Oregon, to uh, Kingman, Arizona. I'll show you the map as soon as I get hooked up to it. Anyway, let me introduce everyone. Uh, we've got Lurch. Hey, <laughs> hey everybody. <laughs> Bedrock. What's going on, everybody? Um, Close. Hey, everybody. Hope you're having a good day. And uh, Close is our uh, our resident uh, Canadian today, but he's uh, suffering for some from some latency, so he may pop in and out from time to time. Hopefully not. And I am going to hop in back into my truck and go get my load. I think I'm getting, I think mine's probably at the same place where Close is getting his right now. Looks like mine is too. So I'll just drive around know if I should share it or not. A uh, little story and lesson I learned earlier on in uh, ETS. I'm going to go back around the building or, well, I think I'm going to go around this way. Well, I just noticed that I don't have a single turn signal on the front end of this truck. What? I failed to put any turn signals on the front end of this truck. Did you custom build that truck? I did. I guess I didn't finish the custom build before I paid for it. I didn't even know that could be a thing. To not put turn signals on the front, I mean. Well, there's many different kinds of turn signals on these custom trucks. And I didn't put any on, evidently. Is that a res belt or a hater belt? It is a res. Okay. That's my parents bit here. Bedrock, would you like lead? All right, I'll pull in behind you then. Okay, I'm gonna pull, put the map up on here for my audience. Once again, we are in, uh, actually we're midway between Eugene and Salem in Oregon. And we're gonna be taking a very scenic route today. We're going to get off. We're going to head south on Interstate Five, and then we're going to get off south of Eugene, and take Oregon Highway 58 
over to US Highway 97. This is a very scenic route. This goes over the Cascade Mountain Range, or it goes through a pass. And then it takes US 97 south to Klamath Falls. And then this here, which is uh, California Highway 139, over uh, where we connect to 299, and then over to Alturas, where we're going to go south on US 395. This is a very scenic route. I've taken this route many, many times while trucking. Very pretty uh, drive. That's going to take us to uh, bring us out to Reno, and we're going to continue south to Carson City, and we're going to be taking this back road um, to Tonopah, and then where we're going to pick up US Highway 95. Take that through Las Vegas to Kingman. That's our route today. Should be very scenic. At Intermountain Healthcare, you get quality care from Nevada caregivers you know and trust. Commercial. <laughs> yes, I had a commercial run running. Let's see. Let me let me uh, acknowledge a few folks first, and then we'll head out. Uh, the the Nowder, Nowder, Lee, welcome. welcome you guys to the stream. Hey Lee, Mr. Benz, welcome once again. And Sean Ezel says how how Boomer and Convoy oh, must be high Boomer and Convoy guys. Hello. And uh, Lee says he's spoken to you, Bedrock, in the Discord. He has. All right. FYI, I've got eight hours on my rest timer, and I will need fuel before we reach the destination. Yeah, we'll all have to stop. I mean, it's, uh, actually, I don't know how far it is. Let's, um,. Let's just sneak a peek here on where do we think we ought to stop. So we've got some options. We can stop. There's a uh, pilot flying J in Klamath Falls. That's probably a good place to stop and get fuel. Depends on how how you're looking for fuel. Uh, let's Looks see. Looks like far. I have about nine hours left on my clock, and I have about a quarter of a tank of fuel. Okay, that's just under half. Very well. All right, that pilot is 221 miles. I can make that, I think. Yep. Let's plan on that, and we'll go from there. So the pilot and Plymouth Falls. You got it pinned? I will pin it right there. Okay. Whenever you're ready, Bedrock. Assuming right, everybody else is ready. Red. Get in and buckle up. Let's do this thing. I didn't even notice how heavy this is. 29,000. It's not bad. So we've got 1,075 miles to go. Hmm. One down, 10 million to go.
Hey, DK. Yes, I'm going to drive a Pete. I don't know when. But I will. You know what else I'm going to do? Is I'm going to... I'm going to buy a Kenworth T680. Just discovered a new mod for a kind of a custom T680. I watched Prime Simulations video t earlier today where he talked about it. And I was impressed, so I uh, downloaded the mod. I don't know when I'll get to it, but I will. I'll probably test both of those in a different profile first. I should have done was check to see if Pippingham was uh, oh we're not even in the right convoy voice channel I need to move us stand by to be moved oh lord I just got my first yawn what wonderful What a moving experience. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry yeah, about I that. Just, I forgot to move us. Well, I just got my first yawn. I didn't plan this very well. Okay. Um, I don't know where there is a place to rest off the top of my head. Eugene. Yeah, we'll find one probably That's right here in Eugene. Oh yeah, it came from one in Eugene. Actually, there's one right behind us. <laughs> As we pass by. Uh, uh, I don't think we passed by it. Did we? No. No. We would have had so. to turn left coming out of that place. Onto this road. Good day, RJ. <laughs> Sean, I'm holding out because I'm afraid I might like it too much. Oh, light just turned yellow. And I got a ticket for a red light violation. I'll just slow roll when we get out. Hi, Kivo. I gotta move my tablet.
enclosed are entering the freeway. Okay. Whoops. Sorry, folks, I'm fiddling with stuff and I'm distracted. As well as I am and just missed the Eugene exit, so. What? Oh! That's okay, I'll reach back here in the ice chest and get a Red Bull. I had a garbage truck or something in the lane not too far in front of me all of a sudden just disappear, so I had to get over quick just in case. Hey, Lee, I saw your message. It's it's not that I can't really carry on a conversation right now because I, I don't see all the comments in a timely manner. Um, I don't have a suggestion. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, you can say what it is you wanted to say, but I, I might not see it. Just be aware. I don't have anybody moderating the chat for me today. Catching up. Yeah, we're right behind you. Oh yeah. Well, our I'm exit should be up. coming up shortly. RJ says it's yep. uh Sunday in Australia, Sunday morning. Here's our exit. If need be, um, you can turn your fatigue off. Of course, we'll have to stop to do that. Sharp curve to the left. Hey Adam, welcome to the live stream. We're doing a convoy today from Eugene, Oregon to Kingman, Arizona. Was that Salem? Yeah, it was Salem. I'm sorry, I started in Eugene. I got it locked in my brain. Look at that countryside. Pretty, huh? Gonna get like even prettier. Leaf. Yeah, it looked like silver leaf maples back there turning red.
This is so pretty through here. Anybody have a fishing pole? Yeah. Eh, throw the fishing line out and do a little bit of trolling while you're driving. Got a cop with a customer on the other shoulder. Didn't realize I didn't have my lights on. <laughs> Oops. Hey Lee, we'll figure out something to get you into convoying. Bedrock is correct. Oops. Adam, we just left Interstate 5 south of Eugene, Oregon. We are headed east southeast towards US Highway 97. Look, it's getting dark. Just got my first sleeping violation. If I can find a place to pull over up here, then yeah, I'll go ahead. disable. Right now I don't have a shoulder. Yeah, that's kind of the downside to this route. There is I'll find a spot here in a second. Yeah, there is a pullout up here somewhere. I don't recall where. I just don't want to black out. 40 mile an hour curve to the right up here, guys. I think I'm going to turn mine off as well and change the time so we can be at doing this in the morning. Do we all turn it off? You can. I mean, we might as, might as well. I mean, I'm the host, so when I change the time, it impacts my clock. Viewpoint, half a mile. Here it is. There's no rest area here, so I'm going to turn off my fatigue. Because when I change the clock, it'll mess me up. Really? <laughs> Thanks, RJ. Hey, okay, fatigue is off. All right, I'm changing the time. I'm going to set it to seven. Get ready for a flash. Three, two, one. That didn't work. I'll try it again. There, now, well, at least it's six. Wow. So, well, since we're stopped here. Oops, where'd I go? Oh, I went too far. I'm underwater. Ha. There we go. I don't remember what this lake is called, though. Hey, Close, can you pull up a little closer to me? I want to get a picture. That's good. Yeah, for those old enough to remember, 
I got Fred out the truck. He's down there swimming in the lake. <laughs> Fred, I guess I'm not old enough to remember. Fred. Fred. Remember old Smokey and the Bandit? When oh, Jerry no. When Reed was that, that bass and hound that he had, Fred. Fred yeah. was out there swimming around in the pond. I don't think I've seen that movie since the 70s. Come on, Fred. we got to go. Fred was just swimming circles in the pond. All right. Hey, Sean, you don't need a Discord to convoy with us. You need to join this Discord to convoy with us. Well, you need, well, you, I guess you do. You need a Discord account. Um, I think we're ready to go roll. Okay. Sorry, I'm over here yakking at people. You do need a Discord account. Anyway, the the link to the disc my Discord server is in the description below. Also in the description below is a list of the mods that we're using in this convoy. I always love this drive. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is. Even in the game. Yeah. splits up here guys that can come around that curve of the ride.
scales coming up. I've got a green. 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 That means the pilot will be coming up around the corner. On the left. I just got my warning that I was running out of fuel, so that's perfect. Should be able to go into the up second. On our exit. Yeah, it should be able to take the second entrance. Second? Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can take the first one, but it won't line you up with the fuel pumps. Go straight. That's the exit right there. The second one was the exit. Oh, sorry. That's the next one. The third one. No, the... Okay, the third one. Problem with your brakes there, Lurch? Yeah, I was trying out to do a jig brake. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I didn't know that the that entrance we already passed was um Yeah. It. I mean, the first left was actually to a street, but it brings you around and in on the back side of this. Correct. And that's what I had pinned, and when you said it's the second, I went, okay. <laughs> and then I just blew past it and it said, Car cars only. Yeah, well, that's the thing, it's cars only, but I didn't even know it would let us go in that way. All right, that's I'm gonna go good. park over here, out of the way. Hey, Lee, um, you know, we'll, we'll work with you if we can, and I'm sure we can, but, uh, you know, we convoy all the time, so you can't be mad if we convoy without you when we're still trying to get you set up. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. No, I can't tell you when exactly. That's okay. Um, maybe... Maybe we can work with you tomorrow sometime. Should be. And then you need to let me know if you want to do mods or no mods. Spoke with him earlier. Um, his computer tries to crash out on him every time he uses mods. Okay. So well, we can get him into no mods. I don't no know mods. if he's got a bad mod or if he just if his computer's not strong enough to carry the mods. But either way, I yeah. think we could work with him. Yeah. Hey, Greg. <laughs> Gregory just joined the uh, Discord yesterday, last night, I think. Yeah, Lee, we got to work on getting you into my Discord. I know you had some trouble. We got to see if we can't work that out. Thank you, RJ. Appreciate that. Uh, Brando, yes, for sure. You need to get in on some uh, some uh, staff convoys 
So you can work your way into doing this. I assume you guys are all ready and looking at me, waiting to go. Oh, I was going to ask, are would, we going to leave? Are we going to leave the just, uh, fatigue off, or are we going to? Um, uh, we can actually get rest. I we didn't can get any real quick. Um, I didn't either because there's no rest trigger over here, but I we can. I believe there's one over there by that blue international. What is that up? That might be a freight liner. LT uh, International. That looks like a freight liner or a um, Kenworth it's freight liner. Yeah, maybe Ken. Can. What am I looking maybe at? KW. To my left. Yeah, that's KW. That's Never a mind. T680. Yeah. I'll have to get over there too. Uh, da, 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 I'm just Leave. going to note. I'm just going to nose in and rest real quick and get out. I'm not going to park. Adam, here's the route we're taking. See, we we left Salem. Well, actually, it was midway between Salem and Eugene. Um, so we've already covered this area where Klamath Falls now, and we're going to follow this route. All right. Hold up. I think it's going to make me nose in. Um, Lee, you can use the nope. chat within ATS. Um, we won't be able to get you into a live stream anytime soon. We need to get you up to speed on convoying with us. Also, we use mods in the the uh, live stream convoys. So we'll need to get you up to speed on that as well. It'll take a little while, but we'll get you we'll get you convoying. All right, I need to find a trigger spot. I think I'll just do what Bedrock is doing. I'm just trying to get in here to try to find one. Oh, I guess I need to turn my <laughs> turn it back on, huh? Well, it should still trigger for you. Well, this for some reason it's not triggering here, and I'm sitting right on top of the bed. I'm gonna swing it up. There it was. All right, I'll come in behind you. Everybody got their fatigue turned back on? You want to go out that way, Lurch? Yep. Oh, that's the way my map has it. <laughs> okay. You want to lead? Jump in the lead. I'm good. I'm going to turn fatigue back on real quick. I just w stopped here as everybody else was over. Other side doing their uh they're resting all right i got i'm rested or i got a coffee and my fatigue is back on i'm good who's leading lurch is sitting up front so he can lead okay okay Have a nice day, says the sign. I'm Thank pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that sign actually exists in real real life too.
we'll roll at 32. You guys get caught up. 10 4. Yeah, we got some traffic. Right, Gregory, that only applies to live stream convoys. The two week uh, requirement. Dude, you had your turn signal on. I thought you were turning. Well, there I am, busting my own rule about not yakking at AI. It's hard not to. It is. Cheer up, Lee. The red light up here. You're here with us now, watching a convoy. That's got to be worth something. I guarantee you it could be a lot worse. Right lane is ending. I will bet that Boomer and Close didn't get through that lot. Uh, no. I mean, there's a... There are trucks in both lanes ahead of us at that light. Ah, uh, yeah. Yo, Boomer, you want to race? <laughs> no. No racing. Hola, Isaac. Sean, if you're having trouble getting in, I'm not surprised. You do. Well, I'm using a. Uh, identification checker called alt identifier and it makes it a little bit more difficult to get in you do have to share you have to jump through a couple of hoops first is your, f your phone you got to have your phone connected to your discord account the next step is that you've got to go through whatever the instructions are for alt identifier Hey Isaac, watch those um, those uh, icons or emoticons. Netbot will get you, or Nightbot, it'll shut you down. Cause that's what scammers and spammers use. And it'll give you a timeout, and I I don't have any control over it while I'm. In live streaming. Hurt, you might want to ease it on up a little bit. I, I can see Boomer and Close coming in. I wouldn't, I wouldn't jump it all the way to 60 immediately, but they're rolling up on my back door. 40. You may be on to ease it on up to 50 if you want, because he, Boomer's coming in pretty hard on the map. I got two trucks between us. And I'm doing 55. I don't, I don't see, I don't see them yet on my map. I see no, both of you the at overlay. the top edge. Yeah, I'm uh, pulling up on the overlay. I've got the, I've got the overlay up too. Yeah, we're probably just. If they're uh, on the edge, if they're on the edge of yours, then that's uh, okay. <laughs> oh, now he's coming in. Yeah. I just got a visual on Bedrock. Yeah, I'm rolling 41. Going up to 50. Yeah, I can see them coming in. Welcome to California. Get ready to I'm show your papers. Corner. Yep, the northeast yep, corner. Egg station coming up. Here we 
we go. Papers, please. Agricultural inspection. We're hauling tractors. What do you mean? <laughs> That's not agricultural. Yeah, well, there might be some weeds stuck in the chassis. They don't want any foreign weed. Chris <laughs> is at 30 again till everybody's through. Well, Adam, we don't race in in my convoys. We try to stick to the rules of the road, except when we don't, like that, like at the racetrack in near Tucson. But that's off road, and a special event. Do some drag races. Hey, why don't you uh, just start right out there? There he goes talking to the AI traffic. Yes, I'm doing it. <laughs> hey, Robert, you made it to a live. Welcome to the live stream. I've got a I've got a Sunday afternoon driver driving around pulling a tractor up here on the step deck in front of me. <laughs> oh, never mind. That's Lurch. Sorry, Lurch. <laughs> I see a left turn coming up on the map. <laughs> yes, that'll be uh, California Highway 299, turning left towards Alturas. Oh, jeez. All right, Boomer's coming up on my map. I'll kick a 45. I just I just had a close encounter with one of y'all's trailers. Really? As an artifact. I didn't even have time to swerve. I thought I was gonna crash into a wall. They're hard to drive through sometimes, but Yeah. just rammed into me. Do you have from behind? Yeah. Wow. One sec. I'm going to pull over and... Uh, what's it called? Um, Beat the bus driver? Yeah. Is there a mod for that? <laughs> I wish. Once Bedrock catches up, I'll kick it to 45. I'm at 40 right now. Okay. 40 is the speed limit where I'm at in Canby. 
Although we're going to have a right turn coming up, so I may not be able to kick it up before we get to there. Yeah. yeah I'll catch you before that turn. Or may not catch you before the turn, I meant to say. Super elevation on that second, on that left hand turn right there was backwards. Really pitched the weight of this truck to the outside. The limit drops to 30 before we turn. You're right, Brando, those four-wheelers are a pain in the neck. So are the bus drivers. All the bus drivers are the worst. SUV stopped. Now he's moving. up to 45. Ooh, look at that crunched up trailer over here. Yeah, just passing that scrapyard now. Yeah, we're running about 49, 50 up here, about 50 miles an hour. All right, I'm doing 55. I'm showing 45. 
Well, I just let off. I was at 49. Now I'm at 45. Boomer just showed up on the map. Yeah, we're going to get back together here in just a second. Once I see it close, I don't kick it up to the limit. And he's just coming on now. 55. 55. Sammy Hagar sang about that. He couldn't drive 55. That's what he said. RJ, you are right about that. I have learned that lesson the hard way. So now I've got a betting process, which I still need to refine even more before I let anyone into one of my live streams. The first step in the process is to join my Discord. The next step in the process is to um, start joining in convoys in my uh, Discord and become familiar with the, the how we do it, the mods we use, etc. We do run a lot of convoys, or we typically run a lot of convoys in my Discord. But they're not typically live stream. All the folks that are live streaming today have been in the Discord for a while. And have participated in numerous convoys. Got a left turn coming up. have an accident rate percentage much less than the bucks. <laughs> Mostly, yeah. <laughs> uh, clothes might be the exception. But that's only because of yeah, lag. That's true. Well, mostly because of lag. It's unavoidable. Yeah, not, that's not unavoidable, I've... though. Yeah. Now I have a wheel and shifter set up, so I take her nice and slow. So you do slow donuts in the field now? Well, no, I still go fast. Until he lags out. Lurch, we didn't make the red light. That was a one truck red light, or one truck green light. Okay, I'll slow it down. Well, at least I've caught up the bedrock now. All those other in my rear view. All the other trucks turned the other way, and I think Close is right behind me. Yep. See if we can get all three on this all three on the screen line. Alright. Turn. Essentially, you saying that is giving me the green light. <laughs> all right, we're all through. Map 30 right now, as soon as I see Bedrock, then I'll stick it up to 45. We all made it through, so... We'll be along shortly.
moving around the map now. Any clues that's coming on the map? We'll be crossing into Nevada shortly. Going up to 50. Gregory, I'm assuming you're apologizing because your link got blocked. Uh, yeah, links are blocked. Uh, it's automatically. And I appreciate you trying to help. Um, that's another reason for the disc people getting into the Discord to, to um, help get them access to things. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, everyone else, Gregory is trying to post a link to, um, there's a sale going on at a place, I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, the link is actually available in my Discord server. Welcome to Nevada! It can to 55. I'm rolling up on bedrock at 65. Um, you're speeding. Speed limit 65. <laughs> I know. We're in Nevada now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As soon as we crossed over, I kicked it up. <laughs> Picking up I, to 60. I hate 55. It's like you get nowhere. Yeah. At a crawl. Hmm. I learned that I could, you know, on, on I 5 in California, I could get up to about 62, 63. Right. So, and then less. Seven, seven over. Yep. You know, most of the cops, they just weren't looking for trucks unless we're really getting crazy. There's plenty of uh, four-wheelers speeding up that freeway to, for them to be busy. Yeah. Want to kick it to 65? 10-4. I'm already running 65. <laughs> I was kind of waiting for clothes to catch up a little bit more to the, to the you get two. Oh. Ah, uh, don't worry about me. Trust me, the moment I see Boomer going fast, it <laughs> means go fast. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, you can't go faster than 65. Yeah, it's a world of trucks event. Yep. It's a world of trucks, unfortunately. Break checked me. Uh, DK, Stevie Ray Vaughan, yeah, I suppose. I mean, I don't listen to a whole lot of music. I don't listen to radio. I, I listen to Pandora. And I listen to a lot of 70s music. 
I also listen to classical and classic rock. Oh. I thought that speed limit sign back there said eight or uh, 60. So I was going to slow down and then I realized it's at 80. I thought it said 65. Well, the one for us, I think. I'm not sure. Because I, I also saw one that said 65. I don't know. I'm confused. Mm. No, it's 65. Confusion was uh, when I was playing ETS earlier. Sign would say 30, but the... Uh, uh, Rod advisor would sh show 48. Oh, yeah, because you, you have um, miles per hour set up. I always switch it to kilometers because that's, you know, I'm driving in Europe. Do as the Romans do or whatever that is. When in Rome. Freeway ends, and we're gonna have to make a left turn. Speed drops to fifty. And I dropped way down below that. <laughs> yes, you did. I don't think you're ready to turn yet. Red light. Yep. We're caught at the red light, Lurch. Back to 30 it is. <laughs> Jeez, those lights don't like you guys. Whoa, look at the cars on the road. You see that bus do the herky-jerky? Sure did. <laughs> hey. Bedrock, how'd you do that? Magic. You're you're driving in front of me and you just bought three coffees. Thank you, by the way, for the coffees. Magic. Magic. That is magic. I am most impressed. <laughs> I was not texting and driving. Uh, oh. I was wondering the way I saw you uh, swerving over to the shoulder like me. Yeah. like we all made it. The only question is, anybody get a ticket? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Not yet. Ticket well. to 40. <laughs> 45 mile an hour curb coming up, guys. Well, I'll just leave it at 45 then until I get through. We are coming up on, it's after 7 p.m. Make sure your headlights are on. under five hours until I gotta get myself a coffee. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll want to stop up here at the first opportunity. Refresh our coffee and change the time. 
actually large you're coming up on a rest stop just pretty quick don't see any on the map yet yeah I'm looking at the big overlay um, you're probably a couple of I don't know speed limit drops to 45 you're gonna make a left hand, then a right hand, and then a left hand, and then the second right, right hand. Yep. I see it now. Okay. That's a lot one of hands. In there. Two lefts and two rights. Woo. When you guys come up on this lake right here, be careful this right hand curve. Super elevation on that curve is to the outside, not the inside. Stop's going to be on the right. Coming back into California. Oh, it's right here. Get ready for, well, I guess it won't flash. It will get dark. 5.52 a.m. Yeah, we'll go with that. Let me catch a couple of comments here. Do, 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 do. Got to enjoy the golden hour. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the light before I changed the time was actually pretty good, too. Yeah. Well, the golden hour is actually the um, the first hour after the sunrise in the morning, and the last hour before sunset is what they consider the golden golden hour, I believe. Uh, that sounds right and to me. And they make some they make some of the most beautiful pictures because your shadows are long, everything's golden. Uh, you guys mind if I lead for a bit? Rest stop. Oh, you want to leave, Coase? Go yeah, for it. Get up here. Wait, wait, you guys want to see me peel? <laughs> <laughs> no racing, Coase. I guess if nobody's peeling with you, it's not racing, is it? No, 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 wait, I'm going to do a burnout. I just got to get in the right gear because I have a load. We'll be right back in about two minutes. There we go. Bedrock, check me out. Yeah, I see it. I see it. <laughs> that gives you some time to catch up on comments. Did, did Lurk say he was stepping away? Yes, for a couple of minutes. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Now I, now I get to do some real burnouts. Actually, I am caught up on comments now. <laughs> <laughs> I just got called out for yawning already. Oh, a real live yawn? I think so. Because I have a tendency to do that after sitting for a while, even though I've got coffee here on my desk. <laughs> You'll bedrock. Is that a res bill close? Nah, it's a Viper. Viper. The third axle. So we crossed into California for a little bit, and then we're going to cross back into Nevada down here at Bishop. And then we'll get on US Highway 6, take that to US Highway 95. Well, actually, 
we'll get to 95 before we get to Tonopah. There is a repair place there just outside of Tonopah if anybody needs it. Except for tire wear, I don't think I've got any damage. Yeah, I don't. Same here. Shouldn't, shouldn't have. I haven't run into anything. Yeah, I got 1%. I'm back. Lee, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. We're fine. We're good. If you were mean to me, I missed it. Now, RJ, if I was, time. If I was uh, being monitored by an in-truck system just drove me nuts. Even if, even though I was an owner operator, I was signed on with uh, Schneider, and they had these all these different monitors that monitor things in your truck, and I would get call or messages about, "Hey, we need to talk to you about this." I finally got fed up. I'm like, you know what? The heck with this. I don't need you guys looking over my shoulder. Even though I like the company as a whole, I did not like that. Yes, Taz, those are stupid annoying. Ready when you are there, close. Bring up the rear. All right, I'll go up to forty here until you guys catch up. Truck went flying over that hump. That's kind of the problem with with having uh, clothes in the front. Crazy stuff like that happens. <laughs> and I don't even understand why. Yeah, that truck dropped out of midair on me, right in front of me. But I guess it makes the trip interesting with clothes up front. Yeah. You get to see stuff you wouldn't normally get to see. Right, flying trucks and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's that uh, maniacal lapping thing he does. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, God. Wait till he sees the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, now I hope there's one. Yeah. Uh, wait, if, if we're going through. Oh, uh, wait, are we? Yeah, we're going through Vegas. Yeah, but, there'll be no tunnels. Oh, uh, not that tunnel? Oh man. Because, like, isn't there in Vegas, there's that one road you go under an overpass? Uh, or something like that? Or it's like a I, building or something like that? In uh, the real world, yeah, but not in the game. Oh, you guys picked up fast. Alright, I'm gonna go 55.
sagebrush. All right, we're turning left up here. <laughs> he went right through cool. you and right through me. And then he flew up in the air. Me too. Cool. It made my stomach sink a little bit because I was looking for this left hand turn that Close was talking about, and then all of a sudden there was the car. Yeah. Getting ready to turn left. That was interesting. SUV hit me head on, made my stomach sink a little bit. Yeah. It was a little easier on me because I saw him go through you, so oh. I figured it's going through me as well. Alright, clothes just drifted all the way around this corner, or this curve. Yep, so did the cars. I'm gonna pick her up to do picking it up to 55. <laughs> means we can get back up to 65. Yes, we can. Oh, that's right. Seat belts, everyone. Hard curve to the left. Wow. See, what yeah, I don't understand... Try not... try not to what? Sorry, go ahead. Oh, well, there's a California Highway Patrol car between us that followed us in from California. I was wondering why see, he's still there. I see that. I, I saw that black and white behind me, and I thought, he just followed us from California. He did. He's probably after close. Well, we can run as fast as we want to. He's out of his jurisdiction. That's true. And he didn't, he didn't cross the state line with his overheads on, so... Nope. We are going to be making a right turn up here. until you guys catch up.
entering into Tonopah now. Is the Cloud Motel up there on the right? Uh, yep. Aha! <laughs> There it is on the right. Speed limit 35 mile an hour. Uh, all right, I'll kick her up to the limit. Now it's 25 limit. Good. Oh yeah, Lord. in the main part of town. Best Western. It's even worse coming from the other way because it's downhill. That truck care center back there on the left. There was a white four door that just turned straight left in front of me and ran straight through that building. <laughs> that could be any given Friday night. <laughs> Thursday at 4:22 p.m. Oh, wait, what? No, it's 10 a. It's 10:13 in the morning. Oh, sorry. We'll be there Thursday at 4:25. Right. You're right. Thursday 10:10:15 <laughs> 10, 10, a.m. <laughs> well, again, it is, it is Nevada. It was, so it was it was a long night. Wednesday night. Right. They haven't been to bed yet. Uh, that's extremely likely. Oh, still 25 back here. Yep, right lane's gonna end after you come out of town. I'll just stick at 35 for now. Yeah, Taz, you're right. Thought a pause, barely accurate. I'm speeding up. Right. Got a sharp turn over here. I think it's a 35. Yeah, closed. I think they're catching up pretty quick, according to the overlay. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, I'll kick her up to uh, let's go 60. Yeah, 60 is probably good. Oh, construction. And there's a light, it's red. No. We should all catch up together now. Yep. <laughs> Gotta look at the plus side. screen all the construction and the light and everything just disappeared all of it yeah yeah same here i'm thinking like whoa, 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 wait, wait 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 did i disconnect not again and by the way i just checked hey rj <laughs> thank you for the copies 
I just looked and that top car behind you, Bedrock, is a California Highway Patrol based CHPD. on the logo. Yep. Or CHP. CHP, yeah. Um, yeah well, I mean, it's got the, uh, the California star on the door. Is it a crowd maybe, maybe, maybe they extradited somebody and he's transporting. I don't know. You know, that's a real possibility. Or they're going to pick somebody up. Right. Yeah, it could be going to Vegas to pick somebody else up to extradite them. Yep. That happens. Mm -hmm. Thanks, RJ. Ah, whoops. Coming into Beatty. We got a. I believe so, yeah. It's a 45 turn. Yeah, it's gonna drop to probably 25. And then it goes down to 25. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's almost as if I've been here before. <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> well, there's not much here. No. It's a quaint little town. And everybody knows everybody. Yep, and everybody knows everybody's business. Exactly. There's a up here on the left bef I think I think that's where we are. Oh no, this is Goldfield. I think. Yeah, baby. Yeah, we haven't got to uh, Beatty yet. Yeah, Beatty, what was that? 40, 40 something miles, 45 miles, I think. Okay. Well, there's a, in, in Beatty, there's a, an area where I've seen a, some, some folks set up a barbecue on a corner. I've actually stopped and got some barbecue from them. It was really good. I think they do it one, one, once or twice a month. I think is what they told me. All right, going up to sixty. So they just set up like a little farmers market instead of a fruit stand, a barbecue stand. Pretty much, yeah and just sell whatever they've cooked and when they run out, they run out. Yep. That's it. Yep. That's some of the best food in the world, I think. That's why I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've done that in a few places around the country. There was a uh, somewhere southeast of Nashville on I-24. Somebody was set up at or near a truck stop. I walked over there. Yeah, he had the big cooker or smoker thing going, and man, it was so good. Yeah, when Whoa. I was overseas in 03 and 04, we got tired of in eating MREs. We'd eaten MREs for about four months. That's all we had. Um, and so we set up kind of like a little trading post outside of our post out in the middle of the desert and had the Iraqis come in and we could actually give them, um, we would order food and they would take our order and the next day they would come back with home cooked vegetables and chicken and it cost us $5 and they would wow. bring it back in a, on a, like a paper plate wrapped in tin foil and everyone asked, said, well, Weren't you afraid that they eat that? And I said, absolutely not. That guy was making our money. Just, just as soon as we took Saddam out of power, you know, as soon as we crossed the DMZ and took him out of power, their their dollar or their money went to nothing. I mean, it was 
it wasn't worth anything and the american dollar was worth like a mint to them so for him to get five american dollars and he did that you know there'd be 20 or 30 of us go out there and him to make 150 dollars in one day it was like making, gold mine for us making yeah us making twenty thousand dollars a day wow there wasn't a chance that he was going to jeopardize that and it was actually you know, after you eat MREs for months on end, and then to have something that's home cooked and absolutely good, you know, fresh vegetables, was amazing. Explosion! Wait, thank you for the coffee. Appreciate it. I keep, I, I forgot to even promote that. Look down here. Link in the description if you want to buy me a coffee. <laughs> Some of you have already found it. And it goes up to 45 and then up to 70. So I'm going to kick her up to 60. An explosion hails from New Jersey. Hey, didn't I see you try to join the Discord? Or maybe you did join. I don't remember. I get confused. There's a truck stop coming up. I'm going to stop there and get myself some fuel. I think I will too. Right, because they they didn't use. I don't, I'm not real sure what kind of sauce they used on the uh, pita bread, but it wasn't a marinara sauce. It was some other kind of sauce. It was I don't even know what kind of sauce it was, but I'm not a big marinara sauce fan anyway. So, pita bread, camel burger, and goat cheese, and it was delicious. Close disconnected. Uh oh. So um, I think this truck stop is. Ugh. Let me look. I think it looks like it's on the left. No, it's not. It's on the right. Uh. There comes this California Highway Patrol. Come on, guy. Is he going around here now? Finally. Back in the convoy. There we go, man. Yeah, and you're right in front of us. Fortunately, it's a non collision area. Yeah, better I'll come apart for you. <laughs> you can see. See him rolling up, but I didn't. When I rolled in, he wasn't there, or he wasn't on my screen. Yeah, you rolled right through him. So, yeah, I guess we can get some rest here too, can't we? Yeah, I think. Well, I'm not hurt. yes. Ah. 
Actually, I can stop right here in the parking lot and get just kill it and right. I triggered it right here, so. <laughs> Yo, question for the chat. Peterbilt or Kenworth? You guys hear that? Oh, Peterbilt or Kenworth? Start a fight. Yeah. Start a fight. Oh, yeah. I know it. Oh, that's I like a both. Small I, like, I like the looks of both trigger. of them. Yeah, right where I was sitting was, was the trigger. Yeah, I really like the looks that of is... the Pete and the KW. I'm more partial to the big square nose, though. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the slope nose, the new aerodynamic. Did you paint your truck? It was gray, wasn't it? Yeah, I went with the standard lapis blue. Uh. Looks like there's more construction up here just as gonna come out of here. I don't know where it is, but I can see the orange signs. <laughs> yep, here's, we got 50-50 uh, split, depends on model. RJ says Kenworth, Mudge says Freightliner. Raphael says Kenworth. Oh, no love for the P. Oh. I said it was 50 50, wasn't it? Well, that was, yeah, one what person said 50 50. Lurch just lurched forward. I think it closed. <laughs> unless, that was a, unless that was a glitch. Had a truck come up behind and just smack smash into me and push me forward oh that truck that just left the truck stop yeah <laughs> yeah my friend nah, is inside thinking... the trailer of oh, oh, close <laughs> <laughs> where do you want to catch up on chat while we're here or are you good uh yeah let me catch up i think i think i'm not far behind Okay. Not, but since we've asked the that. question, I'd like to see what people are saying. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, Pilot Bro says, since starting the game, Kenworth, but I daily drive Cascadia. Oh, in-game. Aerodyne? What the heck is an Aerodyne? Oh, that's RJ. She's from Australia. I don't, and I'm still not familiar with it, but I'm guessing it's something there. She says well, they don't get peats in Australia. Huh. Yeah, I forget we've got, we have that crowd too, and they don't have one of the trucks we have. Mudge says I uh, saw a Western Star the other day in Br Brisbane. Cool. Hey, Ed. Sorry you missed the convoy. Okay. I'm caught up. I'm back. Alright. I'm rolling. After this car. Come on, car. Sweet looking classic car. 
Yeah, but he needs to mash on the gas pedal. Probably needs to put a little ethyl on that, uh, that car. Now he went on. I think he was trying to race me. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> this truck had moved over to the other lane, so I started to move over, and then he comes right back over. I know, I saw you. And him. That was pretty crazy of him, by the way. Now there's a Nevada Highway Patrol car. We're all rolling, aren't we? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna take it up to 65. 10 4. Got them hot air balloons. Yeah, I would like to ride in one of those just one time. I would too, just because. I think it would be peaceful. Yeah. Well, just as we get caught up, speed limit's gonna drop to 45. I can't pass that truck, Lurch. And speed limit's back up to 70. Are you guys caught up? Um... Close. I'll roll at 50 until you can see us. Well, you're on my map, I just don't have you in sight. Right. Well, come to think of it, this truck in front of me is blocking line of sight. All right, I got around him. Las Vegas. Home sweet home. We're gonna roll right past my place, but you won't see it in the game. I'll honk when I go by. Okay. And wave. When I'm on close fast. This curve right here to the right is probably going to be pretty sharp. Yes, it is. 55. Whoa. That was crazy close. That this suburban is moving. Man, I think his wife is in labor. <laughs> She's probably he was driving. going so fast. No, I'm serious. She was going so fast. He was on the dirt. No, they're probably just late to a party, and she's gripping at him in the passenger seat. <laughs> he's just like, oh, hey. just let me hurry up and get there. I don't care if I even get a ticket. <laughs> yeah. We're late. I told you we didn't have time for you to, to do whatever. I can hear it. <laughs> oh god. RJ, I don't know why YouTube keeps blocking that comment when you say that. But just so you know, Nightbot actually does say that periodically.
All right, everybody wave. My place is off to the left. Hi, Boomer. Uh, Hi, Boomer. Hi. <laughs> and my horn doesn't even work. Uh, uh, you're too close to close. <laughs> you're probably right. Yeah, and I've got cars just glitching all around me up here. Yeah. I am the lag master. Whoa! <laughs> there was a truck and they going the other way. The trailer was jumping up in the air. Yeah, I was fixing to say, I don't ever experience the amount of lag that I've got right now. Well, you will every time Close is in a convoy with us. I mean, it's okay, you know, if I, if I know that it's going to happen. I'm not convoying with you. You're convoying with me. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> Slow traffic in the right lane. Hey, close that day, that time we had the big truck NATO. You weren't even in that, were you? Uh, the really big one. Right. No. Welcome to Arizona. locked into cruise up here because I've got a Buick right in front of me that I'm not real sure what they may do. You can assume they'll brake check you at any random moment. Exactly. They haven't done it yet, but they were slow in the right lane. I scooted over. Then they went ahead and got it jumped ahead of me, and then it's just back and forth. So. With the way it looks. I mean, I don't know. There's just something that's something about it that's just intriguing. The geology for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've I've traveled and lived in this area for decades, and I've never gotten tired of the scenery. Green light on the green way station. I got a red. Okay, I'll slow down. I've got this Buick brake checking me now, so. I got a green. I'm gonna slow down to 40 and let Lurch catch up. Actually, speed limit dropped to 35, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're rolling into Kingman. I lived I lived in Kingman for a number of years too back in the 80s. It 
that. Adam asks, what is the most boring highway to drive on in the western U.S.? I guess it depends on your definition of boring. But it could be U.S. Highway 50. The loneliest highway in the U.S. Where is that highway located? Between uh, Sparks, Nevada near you know, Reno. And um, Utah. Oh. I mean, US 50 runs all the way across the country. Right. But I was just wondering about that stretch you were talking about. It's in Nevada. Is there is there's on a right on red or no? Or you can. Know. As long as it's clear. Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, making a right at the Ed, red line. Ed, no, we're this is gonna be the only load. We've already been at it for two hours. My butt can't take another load. He well that sounded seat. bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt, he you needs need to a get new a, seat. Matt, you, you need to get a car seat like I have. Sitting here for hours. What I need is a scrawnier butt like yours. Ha! But to do that, I'll have to spend a lot of time walking outdoors. Well, we're all caught Almost up, aren't we? There. Um, pretty close. I don't... I think that's Lurch behind me. Yep, what I'm seeing on the map. I'm gonna take it to about 60, but we're not but 16 miles away, so... Yep, our exit's coming up. Yeah, there's no reason to get just overzealous. Yep, here's our exit right here. Exit one. Golden Shores Old and Oatman. Oatman is an interesting town. Um, it's an old mining town. Um, you can go there and feed the wild burrows. There are uh, vendors that sell carrots, and you can feed the burrows. They must not be completely wild, other, otherwise they'd just be mean as the devil. Yeah. Well, you know, free food and all. Right. They're free roaming, but they're fed. Right. So they they do know how to behave. Enough, yeah. Yeah, enough to get a carrot. Yep. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get around them. Yep. A wild pearl can be mean, mean, mean. Yes, they can. Is a wild burrow like a rabbit? No, donkey. Like mule. Oh. We have a lot of wild horses here in Nevada too. Home sweet home, we're here. It's tight. We're in Lee Bear. 
Oh. Lucy, fine. we're home. And I have got a set of doubles that's blocking. This is gonna be fun with this long wheelbase. See if we can do this in less than a half a dozen pull-ups. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to back up. Bedrock, that color combination, the white, the orange, and the black, that's really good looking. That'd be your Oklahoma State University Cowboys colors. Dusty nice. Wilson, thank you for the copy. Oops. But I appreciate the compliment. Man. Dusty, I haven't seen you in a while. Where you been? Man, I love flat tops, especially good looking flat tops. Like that one. Josh, Josh says they used to live in Bullhead City. What a coincidence. So did I. Actually, just south of there, Mojave. But also across the river in uh, Laughlin. Because I worked in Laughlin. Yeah, we took the kids up there to Oatman to feed the burrows a few times. Huh. Yeah, what's up with the stickers, Josh, Josh? Because I never heard that. So Josh Josh says they put little round stickers on some of their burrows' foreheads to tell you not to feed those particular ones. I never heard that. Hmm. Maybe because they're uh, mean. Already, they're already <laughs> aggressive, and they yeah. become more aggressive with food. Yeah. I mean, you know, I went there with my took my grandkids one time, and the way that my grandson was holding onto the carrot. I always worried that the burrow was going to bite his hand because, you know, they're just after the I, carrot. But he never did. Yeah, sometimes food like that makes animals more aggressive than they naturally are. Yeah. Because uh -huh. then you get that battle for, you know, the alpha dominance that one may feel like they're getting something the other one's not getting. And... Yeah. Gregory, yes, I have uh, my Jake brake on auto. I also have my uh, uh, gearbox retarder on auto. So when I step on the brake, um, they'll kick on. Oh, it's getting dark. I guess we don't care, do we? Mm, makes it more fun trying to back up. Dude, this this little lot is pretty well lit. Yeah. Since you guys are there, I where well, I am going to pull over and back up right beside the building over here because I don't think anybody's going to have a spot right inside the gate right here at the front door of the business. Yeah, I, I think if you saddle up next to the. Right, I, I'm a, I'm gonna saddle, yeah, right here beside Wait, the better, 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 uh, yeah. better, uh, I, I, 
I, I have it right next to the forklift. Which side of the um, forklift? In, at the same spot you had. What? Which side of the forklift? Yeah. Uh, left. So when you're... you say left, are you talking about looking at the front of the forklift? Or if you were sitting on the forklift? Are you backing up to the uh, yeah. the, the big door or the, the front door? The front door. Oh, really? Wow. Well, like, 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 like next to it, like on the other side of it. Yeah, yeah. You're not, you're not so helping clarify like, that. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't think yeah. you're gonna be pulled up right here at the front door. So if I if I back up right over here against this gate or this fence, I mean, I think I'll be completely out of your way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're going to go in that bay door is what you're going to. Yeah, exactly. The uh, closed one. Yeah. Oh, and it's fun when the sun shines on your screen and it's dark in the game. All right, Dusty. Thanks. That's in for. That's in for. You're, you're getting a bicycle, or I mean, bicycle, motorcycle. <laughs> Sorry, the house didn't work out. That can be a lot of drama. Yeah, I was. I've been missing you. I was just thinking about you uh, yesterday, day before. Close enough. As long as they uh, they want it. All right. Um, I'm going into the same spot that Bedrock did. And I think that's what Lurch said as well. I think, Close, yep. if you'll back up right over here beside me, I think we'll be out of both of their ways. Yep. <laughs> you see him drifting? Yes. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to forward and that. back, forward and back. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I should be on the move, but that's just too much fun to watch. Slowly <laughs> learning how to use this uh, DevCon. Josh, Josh, just bought me three coffees. Thank you, Josh, Josh. Oh, now I'm confused. Am I gonna, yes, I'm gonna make it, okay. I certainly do appreciate the coffees. What's funny is every time that happens, I get startled. I need to come up with a new tone for that. Something that won't startle me so much. I should I should take a sound recording off my coffee grinder.
little too close to that other trailer. And I'm doing it again. Dock on it. Man, it's been a long drive. Yes. What would be your dream truck? With like what engine, what transmission? Oh, I don't know. I never really put much thought into that. You know, if I was to go back out on the road, I'd want to I'd probably get into a T680 again. Or I'd go with something like this W900. With a super sweet, you know, extended frame. With the big RV thing on the back. Yeah, the uh, studio sleeper. Studio sleeper, yes. Once I eventually get my CDL, uh, I don't know if I told you this, but there's a company not too far from me, like 20 minutes, and it's a local company. Like, once I'm able to, like I'll definitely apply for them, and they got a, a fleet of W9s. It sounds like it might be a good company. What kind of stuff do they do? Um, dry van, flatbed, vans, and flatbeds. Okay. Hey, we were talking about military loads earlier, and here's one, a couple of them. On your screen? Yes. I'm seeing an excavator and plows. And I'm not real sure what. Yeah, I got a I got a big skip or a big loader, and then I got one of them extended forklift things. And there's oh. something else, but yeah, I've got a, a a LAV and a couple of Humvees. Okay, I need to get to park in here. You got it this time. Yep. Hope nobody was keeping track of how many pull-ups I did. Well, I quick, I quit counting when I ran out all my fingers on one hand. <laughs> Ouch. I was like, oh, six, seven, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Just gonna holler yay when he's done. Along with me. <laughs> nah, I'm just picking. There it is. Yay. 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 Everyone applaud. <laughs> oh. Confetti. Woo! Now, where are you going, Lurch? Because Boomer might just stay right where he is. I think he's coming uh, here. That's where I'm going. Oh, oh, oh. Well, then he can just ease over by clothes and be... We'll just all be cozy and comfy and sit here and watch you. Put your socks on. I've got them on. I drive with nothing but socks. Ha <laughs> ha. In the game. <laughs> yeah. See, if not, I've tried to drive with shoes, and depending on what shoes I have on, the pedals feel completely different every time. So I'm just like. Speaking of pedals, I'm thinking about uh, 
on Etsy getting uh, some uh, Peterbilt logo um, pedals, like the big ones, and then putting those on my Logitech uh, uh, pedals, like just taking off the, the metal Logitech ones and putting on the Peterbilt ones. And then I would take apart the, um, the whole plastic frame and whatnot. And then I would take each individual pedal and place it how it would be in a real peat. Interesting. That would be a big base. That would be a big yeah. base. Oh, yeah. No, no, like, I would just, because, like, what I have is, actually, the base that I have, it's just a huge, I want to say, uh, four and a half, I, I want to say, about four and a half foot by wow. three foot wooden, um, like, a big, big piece of plywood. And then I have, like, piece of wood on top of that, and I've made a, a mount for my shifter, I have a shifter extension on there. Um, I got a whole uh. car seat on here with a pallet. Like, man, like, the stuff you can do at home is amazing. But then I would drill the metal frames of the, uh, the pedals into the, um, the wood and then have it, you know, made oh. so it looks like a real, um, a real peat. Get myself a real shifter extension. Yeah. I've looked at I some of these DIY setups um, on YouTube that some of these guys have, and I'm just like... Golly, you would literally have to have 800 square foot room to accommodate all some of their stuff. Oh yeah, it's 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 absolutely nuts, and 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 that's what I want to do. Like, um, I'm probably gonna go on like ATS accessories and get myself a um, a big Eaton shifter. Mm -hmm. Like, when well, when it comes down to shifters, good tip: you want to get a good quality one. You don't want to get something cheap, oh, unless. Yeah it is like it has good reviews and whatnot you don't want to get something cheap um i agree I'd get the shifter extension have that all in place i take off my logitech wheel and I'd, I'd still keep the base but i take off the wheel and put it a big old like maybe like a 16 inch sci wheel on there mm -hmm. and um have the pedals and my dad he has these blankets that he got from costco and these are like uh caterpillar um, branded uh, thermal blankets or something like that, and they're really, really comfy. So I would put those on the ground as if they were like a carpet and a peat. So like everything is just gonna be amazing. Hey guys, I got a couple of comments here to address. Uh, Jacob, welcome to the stream. We are just wrapping things up here on this delivery. Dusty, I'm glad to hear you're still breathing. And Adam, Kenworth doesn't make, as far as I know, they don't make the trucks with the super sweet but they do make trucks with extended frames uh the super sweets typically are aftermarket so there are other companies yeah. that that add those on mm -hmm. i've um, seen those on cascadias and stuff it's yep, pretty cool all different manufacturers trucks that so you can get them and alan yeah we talked about getting about me getting a, a chair earlier in the stream in fact um Bedrock is going to show me on Amazon the one that he got so I can bookmark that sucker. Or at least use it as a comparison. Yeah, look at it and review it yourself and look at the dimensions on it and compare it to the chair you have now. And yeah, I mean, I've got a nice chair. I mean, it's a good office chair. Not a, not a task chair, but it's like a almost like an executive chair but it's not meant for sitting for three hours at a stretch right. and the reason i like this one too is because it's on the round pedestal and doesn't have rollers on it so really when you mash yeah when you mash on your pedals the chair doesn't slide yeah i do have a little bit roll. of a problem with that i mean i'm on carpet yeah. Um, but no, this is this is just a round pedestal that I don't know. It's probably I don't know, 22, 24 inch diameter round pedestal. Ah, uh, I don't know if that would work here. I mean, it's kind of a toss up. Well, you can look at it and see what you think. Yeah, for sure. Close. Oh, yeah, disconnected. Reconnected. I didn't notice. Huh. 
Yeah, I put a link to that in the Discord. I'd like to look at it as well, but what Bedrock was talking about was well under $200. Yes, DK, that's what we're talking about, gaming chair. It's it's on my list of things to do. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a few more copies to do that. I'm still paying for this, sh not the shifter, but a couple other things. Hey, Bedrock uh, Pilot was asking you to put a link in the Discord for that chair you're talking about. I can do that. Okay. We are all delivered. We've been at this for almost two and a half hours. I don't know about you all, but my butt's, butt hurts. <laughs> I need to get and walk around a bit. I got another con or uh, another live stream, and uh, I got to start getting ready in two more hours for my solo live stream. So in two and a half hours, um, I've got a solo live stream. So that's coming up, and um, you know we, we've been talking about this chair, gaming chairs and things, and sharing links in the Discord. That's one of the nice things about the Discord is we help each other out a lot. When we, we share ideas, we, um, you know, we help each other try to do things like Lee, or Pilot was working with Lee earlier to try and get him up to speed with his mods and, and get his system working. We do a lot of that in the Discord, so think about that. There is a link to the Discord down in the description below. There's also links to all the gear that I'm using, my steering wheel, shifter, and topper, all that stuff. So, on behalf of everyone else here in the convoy, thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already, and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. I am signing off. Thank you for joining us again, and I'll see you in about 